everybody, Steve at uh, Eclipse Brewing here. Today we're going to brew a uh, like an October fall beer. It's a Dunkel Wiesen. I love this beer. Uh, I brew one every year. This year I'm going to do a little bit of a twist on it. I want uh, I'm going to add a little bit of coconut to it uh, just at the end of the boil, and um, I'm going to play up the banana ester. I still want the spiciness to it, and I'll change the hops a little bit as well. I'm going to put a saz hop in it rather than um, like a tetning or a um, halatel or something like that. A little less spicy, but still, you know, along the spicy lines. It's a bit of a substitute. So uh, today in the in, in the grain at the moment, we've got, um, what have we got? I've got five pound of wheat, three pound of Munich malt, two pound of Vienna. Um, I've got eight ounces of special B and then four ounces of chocolate. I usually put about 10 ounces of chocolate in it. Um, and I think that's gonna play out on the color uh, Levon's come down a little bit, I think it's like usually 29 or something like this, it's going to be about 20, so it's going to be a little lighter than I'm used to, uh, but you know, hey, it's, uh, it's going to be a pretty cool beer to do anyway. So, and also this time I've done a, um, a step mash, so I did uh, the mash at uh, 120 for 20 minutes, and then I moved it up to 150 for uh, 40 minutes, and then I mashed out at 168 for uh, the last 10 minutes. And now I've just uh, lifted the pot up, um, straining it out, and I'll get it up to the boil. I just turned, cranked it up on the high, and she'll get up onto the boil. Today, the uh, hop schedule is 60 minutes. We're gonna have an ounce of Saz. That's the only hops in here today, so uh, it's a pretty easy one. And then we're gonna have five ounces of um, coconut. And we're gonna put that in at 10 minutes left in the boil. So it's not going to be overpowering coconut, but definitely, um, definitely, I want, want those notes of coconut in in the end product. I think this one's going to be a little um, chocolatey, toffee, malty um, than the one I brewed last year, just by changing the recipe the way I have. So that's hopefully going to play into it as well. So I'll cross back when I've uh, it comes to the boil and put some some of the hops in, or. Um, maybe back when I put the coconut in. See okay, so she's boiling now. So we've got now is an ounce of uh, sars, and we're just going to try and dump it in there without getting too much into the kettle. But it is what it is. It's a lot. It's um, I've been using pallets for a long time, and it's it's uh, interesting to start using the leaf hops again. Let's see how much leaf hop there is in an ounce compared to a, a pallet. Uh, ounce of hops. It's, it's amazing. It's like a huge bag um, for just an ounce. And when you've got the pallets, it's like a tiny little bag and you know, there's not much in there, but it is what it is. At the moment, I've got a, I've got a few bags of SARS that I need to get rid of. SARS, whichever side of the world you're on. So that's what it's going in. All right, so uh, that's pretty much it now. It's a very easy boil now until the end. And then I'll add uh, the five pound of uh, five ounces should I say of uh, coconut and I've got to stop eating that that's terrible um, and then all I need to do is put some yeast nutrient in um, at the same time tablespoon okay, and we're half. down to the last 15 minutes now so um, just getting the ferment bucket ready to go sanitized um, and now it's time to put in the coconut five ounces of coconut that will just go straight into there hopefully because this is really messy stuff to get out of. I've done it before where I've just stuck it straight in and um, oh my god it was a it was a clumpy mess down the bottom I'm sure if you've done it once you'll never do it again and also this time um, I put some yeast nutrient in I'm gonna un under pitch the yeast um, today I'm really you know go and stress it out get those banana um, flavors out of there so I'm uh, going to, uh, so and I put a, a tablespoon and a half in um, and I'm using um, 3068 uh, wine stepping yeast today so and I will just pitch it straight out of the uh, smack pack I'm not going to make a start or anything I'm going to stress it see if it helps all right so down the business end now I'll uh, get uh, this last 10-15 minutes over and done with and then we'll cool it down and put it in the fermenter cheers Okay, so it's uh, brew day's over. It's pretty, uh, pretty easy brew day. Uh, I've got a new sort of system here now, and I've uh, got a permanent spot for this. And 
So I've finished yet, there's some other stuff uh, coming. Uh, some people have been uh, very graceful and, and generous at donating some things to me, so uh, they'll be here soon, and we'll talk about them later, but uh, it finished out pretty well. I think I hit my volumes. I'll take a little bit of a sample here so I can do my uh, final gravity. Uh, it's just uh, straining through the plate shiller now. I think it's, it usually comes out this time of year at about uh, 63 to 65, which is uh, fine for me uh, at the moment here in Seattle. Uh, let's do it. Check it anyway. Um, so from now, I'm, trying, I'm going to try and pitch, pitch it into the uh, fermenter at, at, at 65. Yeah, so it's come through a little bit higher. It's coming through at 67 at the moment. So I'll um, just slow it down a little bit. It's flying through there. And we'll hit those numbers pretty easy. Uh, 3068 wine stepping. Um, so I'll start it at 65 and I'll let it slowly creep up by itself to 68 because uh, you know I'm looking for the banana in it um, and then I'll uh, finish it at about 72. I'll let it run out to about 72 for the last week and then I will be back obviously for a tasting and let's see how uh, this one goes if I can get some of that little just like a nice coconutty taste to it um, and hopefully it's still drinkable. Huh? We'll see you right? All right. See you at the tasting. I just quickly, I thought I'd give you an update on the um, final gravity. I was going for 10.52, 10.53 on this one. Uh, and it's, uh, it, it's sort of, I don't know, I suppose it's 10.50, 10.51, let's say. So one, one, or, one or two digits down. It, it's this new recipe for me. Um, so, you know, obviously I can make adjustments next time if you're going to do this recipe. Uh, just take that into consideration. The colour is uh, pretty pretty good. It's right where I wanted it. Um, and then it's uh, still draining down through fairly slowly. This is my setup through the plate chiller uh, with a pump and then straight into the firm bucket. I just leave the, the plate chiller there. I love that plate chiller. It works very well. All right, guys. See you at the hey tasting. Everybody. I'm going to do the... Uh the tasting of the dunk oil. This is actually the second tasting I did. I just uh, tried it then and realized that the camera wasn't going. So, um, so let me let me go over it. Okay. So it's got a great head. The head is uh, is really nice, and it's uh, it was bigger on the first class, but it's the second one. Um, color is great. Like it's got a really nice color on it too. You know, dark, but definitely you can still see through it down the bottom there. It's not not as dark. You know, as a stout or a porter or anything like that, it's. I think it's right in line with the style. What's not right in line with the style is the coconut. I added, um, and straight off the nose, there's no coconut. There is a weird smell there, there, and I'm not sure what that is. Someone else might be able to smell it and figure it out. You know, it smells like maybe it is the coconut because it smells like a um, a sunscreen or something from memory. And we have got a sunscreen in in Australia which is a coconut based sunscreen. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's coconut. Um, yeah, I don't know, but you can definitely smell the yeast in it. Um, the banana is sort of uh, clovey, that yeast, that typical uh, white step yeast. Um, and, and a little bit of chocolatey something going on there. So let's give it a taste. Mm -hmm. Dive in because that is smooth. Um, that like on the back end you can taste a, a little bit of that special bee definitely can taste it's got that creamy creamy biscuity beautiful biscuity and then like a mild like a mild coconut it's like chocolatey but coconut smooth it's like I'm sure if someone didn't tell you there was coconut in this you'd be like figuring trying to figure out mm, why is it so smooth why is that um, what is, what is that creaminess to it? It's the coconut. It is, it's very, very, very mellow, but it's definitely there. Uh, a tiny little bit of the clove, but you know, a lot of that banana. Um, and it just smooths out into your mouth to leave like a cream taste. It, it's, it, this is, I don't know honestly how I'd improve on this recipe. And I prefer this over a standard dunkel. Um, Maybe it's too smooth. I think that's maybe you get sick of drinking it because it's so biscuity, 
um, bananery, the banana's not in your face, and that's that is the key to this working. I think it's just all very subtle. Um, I'm really digging it, and and I like the um, the the one dunkel that I drink every year and make. I like it a lot, um, but I just want to do something a little different this year, and I think this is going to be you know the, I don't know how to improve on it, but um, definitely. What I'm going to do is send some out. I'm going to send, uh, pick some of the reviewers I know, um, and I'm just going to send it out to them now. And every brew I do now, I'm going to send it out to um, some people to review as well. So you can get some other people's um, perspectives on it, and I can get other people's perspectives on it too. And and um, ne necessarily um, to gloat or anything, just to be a part of the community and and you know just have fun with everyone. So there. Uh, URLs or addresses and channels are going to be in the description down below. Uh, please check them out if you haven't subscribed to their channel. Please subscribe. These are all pretty cool reviewers. Um, and wait for them. Maybe they'll review it if they do a tasting, but I'll definitely be sending some to them. And, and vice versa, if you're a reviewer um, or someone who just likes to do um, beer reviews, hit me up and I'll, I'll send you some of the, some different brews out in the future. And um, maybe we can start something here with a, like a bit of a, a ripple around. Anyway, this is uh, this has turned out really well. Um, I'm very happy with it. Um, very easy to brew. 5.1 ish, 5%. It came out at so it's a great sessionable beer. Uh, anyway, if you've liked it, please subscribe, hit the thumbs up button, and I will see you soon. Got some lots of cool stuff coming. Cheers. Hey.